What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna break down half turn in the rotational shot, do's and don'ts, so check it out. Okay guys, so as I just said in our introduction, we are going to look at the half turn and we're gonna look at the do's and don'ts. We've kind of interchangeably called it a half turn, a modified wheel, a 180. It's kind of all the same thing. Uh, and what we're gonna do is look at when we're training rotational shot putters, kind of the why of what we're doing. And I thought it would be good to just kind of pull up and look at our beginning thrower. So let's take a look. Now, one of the key things that you wanna do is set alignment. You're gonna notice that the thrower on the right actually has, if we gonna do what we would call as a, a center line down the circle. So we're gonna go here, right? Middle of the ring would be like here to here, right? And that would be the toes on the line. And so that this guy's toe needs to end up on the other side of the line, which he essentially does. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is why is he beginning this throw early? Now he's going to pull down. And this is actually a thrower that's a pretty good thrower. And I think as he gets used to this, uh, he's going to be throwing much further. But we're in those beginning weeks in this video. We're still in the first, you know, six, eight weeks of learning the, the rotational throw. They're throwing well on a full throw but there's a couple of simple things. So number one, do is alignment. Make sure you have the alignment set. So again, notice thrower here on the right, he's got himself aligned. Look at this thrower over here, right? When we kind of put the foot here, you see how he doesn't really have this foot on here. Now, if you ever see like a half turn of somebody like Tom Walsh, you're gonna notice he kind of sets more in the middle, but that's because he has an offset. So you're gonna notice that our thrower here on the left, he's got the alignment wrong. Now, what you're gonna see with him as he goes, now watch the upper body and watch this. So one of the things is you're gonna see how he sets the foot here, right? And then he sets the foot down here. So he's gonna land closed. And so you see that his hips are over here. The block foot isn't open enough and he's leading with the upper body. Now here's the big thing, right? So we've got alignment, that's the do. You wanna set it up and the don't is don't misalign it. You gotta have the right position set up. Now the other thing, so it's gonna make it difficult for him to get that foot around. So look at the left leg trail. Why does the left leg trail? Because look at the upper body. The upper body is opening too much, right? So that's a really important thing. So one of the things we do, we have drills in the system. These guys are learning how to maintain the wrap arm or the block arm, right? At this point, it's gonna need to stay closed. They're gonna be able to turn. And at this point, that arm should really be kind of folded across the body. So you're gonna notice the thrower on the right does the same thing, opens too much and see how, so there's an upper body rotation. So watch when he goes here, watch the right foot. He moves the upper body, upper body, upper body, upper body, upper body, and now the right foot starts to move. So see how it's a upper body, lower body. So the do is make sure that the lower body initiates the throw when you're doing a half turn instead of the upper body. And you're gonna notice that the thrower on the left does the same thing. Look at the right not moving. He is loading the ball and he comes here. But both these guys you're gonna notice kind of trail, right? So this is because the wrap arm is supposed to be staying back, which is gonna kind of create a gathering and an increase in rotation in the middle. So if that's not happening, you're going to wind up taking the slow route to bigger improvement. And that's the thing that we all want to avoid. So when we get here, they do have a good lengthened balance arm, right? Because that's part of the role in the rotational shot. So you can see how this thrower is beginning too early, the foot's up high. And so this thrower, you're gonna know is closed and he's gonna kind of jump through. So he's actually got pretty good rotation and he stays behind the shot. So he's doing a good job generally of keeping the elbow kind of in this position and the thumb more down and then he's going to kind of jump through it and he's working on learning how to turn further now you're going to notice here he had thrower on the left or sorry on the right he had the um delayed foot now he starts to rotate but he's kind of collapsing forward and you're going to see how that elbow kind of comes here and the hands coming up so he's not going to be able to maintain the push now you can see how he's pushing around. Why is he here? 
and this guy has a decent block right but we go back to the very basics okay so what do we want to do when we look and this is why i say here's the thing these are athletes and they're making they're already moving better than what these videos are so we'll show you an update at some point what we're trying to do is this is where we would incorporate inside the throwing chain reaction right we're going to be teaching them very specific things we're going to be teaching them drills for how to wrap we're going to teach them drills for how to properly execute off of you know the back leg and initiate the throw how to get on this how to open this properly into the right position right so that they're not landing closed instead of landing over there right the foot needs to be over here and so you notice that they're both very upright which this one it's you know a little bit closer and things are kind of moving close but that's why we put them in the net because we're focusing on key positions and focusing on movement rather than trying to throw far because the minute we put these guys into the ring they tend to start wanting to see how far it's going to go naturally so that's kind of right that's the that's of course the goal of our sport we want to see how far can we throw it and except that the discipline comes in working on continuing to hit the right positions and then as you get better of course the distance is there because you know the throws technically better not just because you're wanting to see how far it can go now of course that's good, nice for everybody but that's kind of the wrong way to train so any rate the key thing that we talk about is setting up alignment we got to hold that wrap and we've got to get the lower body always to move first and that when you set up alignment and you're going to understand the wrap it becomes much easier to do that and here again just two examples of throwers that are too active with the upper body the wrap is not there and that's what they're learning so again the kind of the main goal is that we always talk about we have to understand that the throw is a chain reaction so one of the things that we talk about here when we look at a half turn how many drills would we apply this is what you should understand about doing drills you have to train drills are to train specific patterns that rather than a drill just being a general half turn or a three-quarter turn or some some kind of you know pivoting action you have to understand well, what does this particular athlete need in this case both these athletes need some similar things and so we would do a series of what we would call pillar three four five and six drills because that's what the half turn incorporates so hopefully this gives you just some extra insight don't be too active with the upper body set up the proper alignment and always initiate the legs first in whatever phase of the throw you are throwing in and then the arm positions and everything kind of follow more naturally and in another video we'll get more in depth but these were some basic tips to help you guys throw further and help you improve now if you'd like more information you want to go in depth check out the link somewhere around this video for the throwing chain reaction system be sure to check it out if you're a member be sure to log in there will be a expanded version of this video where we will talk specifically about pillar language drills and whatnot and show you exactly how we're fixing these guys with the system drills now that's not to hold you guys out that aren't members we'd love to see you join the system if you'd like more information check the link somewhere here to sign up We'd love to see you on the inside and for everybody out there, please like, subscribe, hit that like button and we will see you on the next video.